In the past 15 years, we have noticed dramatic uh, climate changes here in the southern Great Plains, resulting in less and less precipitation, uh, warmer temperatures, as well as abrupt pattern of precipitation. We do not see anymore the bimodal pattern of precipitation in with peaks in spring and fall, like it used to be, but uh, totally uh, random right now. And uh, this made, makes uh, wheat, uh, which is the main forage crop here in the southern Great Plains, very uncertain uh, forage crop because planting of wheat may be delayed, resulting in lack of forage in winter and spring. Uh, cool season perennial grasses were always an option, have always been an option in this uh, climate in the past 30, 40 years. But now, all the traditional cool season grasses simply cannot cope with the climate change. We came uh, with another idea around early 2000 when we noticed for the first time that the pattern is going to, ch the climate pattern is going to change. Uh, we introduced uh, to the southern Great Plains another type of cool season grasses from the Mediterranean area. And we believe that these grasses can be compatible with uh, forage uh, from wheat or can replace wheat if, uh, if the conditions even uh, worsen. Cool season perennial grasses from the Mediterranean area have a very unique trait of summer dormancy. They will grow during winter uh, growing season over there in the Mediterranean basin of Europe and Africa uh, when it rains and the temperatures are uh, optimal for growth. And then when summer comes and the drought comes for about six months, there is no precipitation, very hot temperatures, and then the grasses will become dormant. Those conditions resemble very much conditions in uh, southern Green Plains. So we thought that these grasses may be adapted much better than the traditional cool season perennial grasses. And we were run right on track because within the past 15 years, we have proven that these grasses are absolutely adapted to this climate. They can stand almost each and every drought here, summer drought, and uh, simply uh, producers can rely on, on, on these grasses. Uh, recent past uh, fall El Nino was the best, one of the best times uh, in the past several years I have seen to plant these grasses here in Texas because the moisture in fall and winter was uh, adequate to establish uh, the plants and the pastures. So if uh, such similar weather pattern of El Nino happens again this year or next year, this will be a very good time for producers who think about uh, um, converting their annual wheat operation into more perennial uh, pastures with the cool season grasses. This will be a very good time to, to think about this and to, uh, to do this. Um, at the moment, there are only two cultivars available uh, in, on the U.S. market, Fletcher by uh, Grasslands Innovations and Prosper by Barenbrook. And uh, these seeds can be uh, purchased from those companies. We at our program, in uh, cooperation with Grasslands Innovation, we work on uh, breeding of summer dormant cool season grasses and not only tall fescue, but also summer dormant orchard grass and perennial ryegrass. Uh, this breeding program is in the final stages. Uh, several cultivars are almost uh, uh, ready to be released. And in the next few years, uh, they will appear on the market and be available for the producers here in the southern Great Plains.